This is George Hernandez and I'm home solo and man do I love Jeopardy. That's why it felt like hearing bad news about family uh, when Alex Trebek shared his cancer diagnosis. But when I saw that Trebek was trending yesterday on Google, I thought I'd share a few Trebek facts and look back at some of my favorite moments on Jeopardy. So let's start with some Trebek facts. Fact number one, Jeopardy ain't his first hosting rodeo. Trebek got his start in the Canadian Broadcast Corporation filling in for anchors who were out sick. Trebek's first hosting gig was a Canadian ripoff of American Bandstand called Music Hop. He then hosted a Canadian game show with a giant maze called Strategy in 1969, followed by a collaboration with Canadian national treasure Alan Thicke called The Wizard of Odds. The Wizard of Odds! And now here's the wily wizard himself, Alex Trebek! Thank you! In 78, he went on to host a Canadian high school quiz show called Reach for the Top in both English and French before finally landing on Jeopardy in 84. Fact number two, he's the Iron Man of hosts. In 2014, Trebek broke Bob Barker's record of hosting more episodes of the same game show than anyone else in history. Trebek has hosted 8,000 episodes of Jeopardy over three decades. Fact number three. The man has played himself in dozens of movies and TV shows. It looks like he started in earnest around the late 80s, early 90s, with much publicized appearances on Mama's Family, Cheers, and The Nanny. Well, now that we know a little bit more about Quebec, let's see him in action. Here are my five favorite Alex Trebek moments from Jeopardy history. My but the goat, goat ate it. Ate a <laughs> chunk of it, her fur. She didn't enjoy that. No. Billy also enjoyed eating a lot of things, like a three-wick candle, an entire bag of Hershey Kisses, and unfortunately, he met his demise by eating a bag of Quick Crete. Wait, wait a minute. Was it a 60-pound or an 80-pound bag? Because... Alex, you're being insensitive. <laughs> Ken. What's a hoe? No. Whoa. 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 They teach you that in school in Utah, huh, Al? This was a trainable goldfish. He was very friendly and, you know, food motivated. And you, you, know, you teach him that the food is going to come through the hoop, and then eventually he learns. He probably forgets. Not only do we get smart people as contestants <laughs> on Jeopardy, we get some weirdos. <laughs> I've never heard of, but it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's very fun. It's called Nerdcore Hip Hop. It's Nerdcore Hip Hop. Hip -hop. Yes. Um, it's uh, people who identify as nerdy, rapping about the things they love, video games, science fiction, having a hard time meeting romantic partners, you know. <laughs> it's really catchy and fun. Lou, we love you, Alex. That's very kind. <laughs> Thank you. Costio, 1995. Well, I've got the Trebek mustache, but a long way to go if I ever want to host Jeopardy. This is George Hernandez. I'm home solo. What is thanks for watching?